Guys, it's Kyle, and today we're taking a look at the camera tethers and adhesive mounts from Nordic Flash, what seemed to be a company trying to brand themselves as a premium GoPro accessory company, but selling aftermarket accessories for more than others are currently doing. So, uh, they do have some nice packaging. They're nice Ziploc bags, which you open up and everything can come out of, but you can also use them to store stuff in them. So during my reviews of these, I've been able to keep all my stuff organized in these nice little Ziploc bags, which do make them kind of easy to use, but I mean, it's a bag, what more do you want? Um, so, I guess we should talk about price versus what you get. And each of these kits are $14.99 currently on Amazon versus the cost of the GoPro kits for exactly the same stuff. So genuine GoPro mounts retail for $20 each. So you get uh, the adhesive mounts from GoPro, you get three flat mounts and three curved mounts, just like you do with the uh, stuff from Nordic Flash for 20 bucks. And for the five camera tethers from GoPro, you get that same number five from GoPro for 20 bucks versus five from Nordic Flash for $14.99 or $15. So there's a $5 savings with the Nordic Flash stuff. And basically, at least the camera tethers are identical. Same adhesive, same base shape, and you get a piece of string pre-attached to it, which you use to attach to your camera. When it comes to the adhesive mounts themselves, the um, the difference with these, as with all GoPro mounts, is the fact that the aftermarket ones have these cutouts inside them and the genuine GoPro ones do not. So whether that makes a performance difference or not, I don't think it really does. I think they behave exactly the same, but it is just something to keep in mind. That's the difference. That's how you tell aftermarket and genuine GoPro base plates apart. So before we move on to the conclusion and we discuss whether or not these are worth investing in or you should spend more or you should spend less, we will talk about how the tethers work. So right here, I've got a GoPro Hero 4 Silver and it's mounted onto the tripod, which comes with the three-way. And we're going to look at how we would apply one of these adhesives tethers to it. So we would have this tether and it will be stuck down to whatever surface we're mounting it onto. Then we'll grab our GoPro camera now, with the older style GoPro housings, there was a notch in the back where you were able to thread this through and then you would wrap the camera housing around it. However, now that's not possible. So what we do is we pass this tether through the center of the back of the um, mount there and then slide that on top of our mount and then screw it in. So that brings us to the conclusion and a discussion on whether or not you should be looking at these mounts or you should be spending more on genuine GoPro ones. And funnily enough, my conclusion comes out like this. You probably should spend even less. You can get these adhesive mounts for less than the $14, which Nordic Flash is selling them for, and they're identical. So as long as you get shipping that's reasonable and you find a retailer who seems to be reliable, I would spend, if especially if I was buying aftermarket adhesive mounts, which is something everyone needs, just make sure they come with genuine VHB adhesive and just buy the cheapest ones you can because as far as I can tell, they all come out of the same factory. Nordic Flash does sell some great products. Some of their stuff is absolutely awesome, but when it comes to something like adhesive mounts, I wouldn't buy the GoPro ones. I wouldn't really buy these ones. I would just buy the cheapest ones I could because they are the kind of thing you use a lot of and it's great to have tons and it's great to just be able to slap them onto a bunch of different things. So pick up the cheap ones and use them and they'll work great. Guys, until next time, this was another GoPro tips and tricks video. If you've enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe, check out my channel for lots more videos and like the video. Until next time, thank you very, very much for watching. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them down below. I read all of those and respond to as many of them as I can. And if you wanna stay up to date on the latest happenings at GoPro Tips, make sure you follow us at Facebook. Our Facebook page is linked down in the video description. And there's always lots going on over there. I, if I've got questions or things to ask you guys about what you wanna see in reviews, I post them up over there. So if you wanna be able to input on the kind of things and the kind of content that's being produced on this channel, make sure you're over there. And until next time, guys, thank you very, very much for watching. <laughs>